The following is a special presentation from the WTNS Sports Department. It's now time for high school basketball here on the Sports Voice of East Central Ohio, WTNS. Coming up, we'll have all the information on the pregame show. Plus, coming up, Coach's Corner with WTNS Sports Announcer Steve Corey. It's right here on the Sports Voice of East Central Ohio, WTNS. If you own a farm, you know that a one-size-fits-all insurance policy isn't a smart way to do business. I'm John Ionello, your American National Insurance Agent in Coshocton, Holmes, and surrounding counties. American National can provide you with a flexible farm package that allows you to customize a policy to match your individual needs. Call me at 740-295-9460. Because while you know your business, we know how to help insure it. This is Jamie from the Coshocton Coffee Connection. Did you know that we serve breakfast sandwiches all day, every day? Our made-to-order breakfast sandwiches include a fresh egg, melted cheese, and your choice of biscuit, bagel, croissant, or my favorite, onion flatbread. Next, choose from sausage or locally purchased bacon. Enjoy that same bacon for lunch on our BLTs, grilled cheese, and turkey bacon clubs. Pair any of our sandwiches with a hot, made fresh daily bowl of soup. Let us complete your order by making you a specialty coffee or tea. Stop by and see us at the Coshocton Coffee Connection. Coach's Corner is brought to you by the Inslee Insurance Agency. For auto, home, business, and life insurance, call 740-622-1111. That's the Inslee Insurance Agency, 433 Walnut Street, Coshocton. My guest on Coach's Corner, Ben Bell, and the head coach of the Riverview Bears. Bears come in, as mentioned, with a record of 9-9 nine and nine on the season. And uh, we talked a little bit off the record about, uh, the, you know, the, the downtime. And if you could kind of go over that a little bit, just tell us what you've been doing and how you've been able to do it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we had a couple days off from the time that uh, we played Tri-Valley a week ago tonight. Um, and like I say, maybe that might be uh, something that, that's good for us to, to get away from basketball for a couple days. You know, that, uh, that performance against Tri-Valley isn't really indicative of who we are. Um, and maybe a little bit of a rest was, was good. Um, you know, we've kind of tweaked a couple things uh, a little bit as we get ahead of the, uh, of the tournament. You know, we got four regular season games left uh, and then the tournament that we feel pretty good about our draw and our chance to go win a sectional title. Um, so, you know, it's about obviously beating our rival tonight and then, uh, you know, also kind of getting geared up for, for what we're going to do for our tournament run. All right. Now you're late in the season. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it looks like tri Valley. Maybe they already have clinched the upper division uh, title for the year. At this stage of the year, do you look to do anything differently or are you just going to keep building on what you've been, uh, been successful with? I think it's mostly uh, fine-tuning the stuff that we've been successful with or, or stuff that we already have in that we want to look a little bit better is really kind of the way I look at it. So we, uh, you know, we looked at some things that we're doing offensively and uh, just really broke it down a little bit the last couple days in practice in terms of spacing, in terms of timing. Um, because, you know, we know, you know, this is the time of year where teams are really going to start, uh, you know, really scouting us because of what lies ahead. And so, you know, we drew St. Clair's role. I'm sure they'll have 12 films on us before, uh, before you know, they play us here in a couple weeks. So um, that said, you know, we just need to be better at what we do. And, and uh, you know, we know that they're going to know the scouting report on us. we got to anticipate what they're going to do. So it's all, it's all that type of stuff. It's a little bit of a chess game with, with that um, and how we fine-tune what we do. All right, now Coshocton denied a team you won and a beat uh, you know pretty decently at, up at home, uh, up at home, and it was one of those games you know Coshocton made so many runs but never really were able to get back at you. What do you expect tonight? Yeah, I mean, I was just telling the guys yesterday that uh, you know I've been here. This is my third year. All three games that I've coached at Riverview in this rivalry, we've won, and the two so far uh, that I've coached here, we've lost, and, and so it's uh, you know. It's a different game. You know, the, the record kind of goes out the window a little bit, and, you know, there's just going to be, uh, you know, somebody's going to step up that you probably don't expect. And um, and so, really, I think, to answer your question, expect the unexpected to a certain degree. Um, 
like I have told the guys, you know, we do what we do and we do it well. Um, it doesn't matter if you're getting face guarded, not guarded. Um, if somebody different is guarding you, double teams, whatever, you know, go out and play our game and we know what to do in those situations. Just rely on our preparation and, and go win a basketball game. Keys, what do you need to do tonight to get a victory? I think we've uh, what we've really been working on is trying to contain the dribbler defensively quite a bit. Um, that's been a major emphasis. That's what's hurt us recently quite a bit. So, um, you know, we have to keep other teams out of the lane. If that means they shoot a three-pointer off of a couple of reversals, um, then they shoot a three-pointer off of a couple of reversals. We tend to, to let them get real deep into the lane, kick it out to a wide-open three-pointer, and those are the ones that are high percentage shots for any team. So we got to contain the dribbler, keep the ball away from the basket. All right, health of the ball club. Everybody good? Yeah, I mean, as far as, uh, you know, we've got a couple sniffles and things, as you always do throughout basketball season, but nothing major. All right, that's head coach Ben Belton. Good luck here this evening. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with Coach Helder. This is High School Basketball. The agency is proud to be a part of this high school sports broadcast. We support the student athletes on the team and the students in all extracurricular activities. Hi, I'm Todd Inslee. In fact, your good student may qualify for discounted auto insurance rates. We can provide you with homeowner's insurance and life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance. Insure both of us and save even more. For a no-obligation quote on auto, homeowners, or life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance, call the Inslee Agency at 622-1111. My second guest on Coach's Corner, Jamie Helder, the head coach of the Coshocton Redskins. Redskins come in 4-12 and on the season. 11. 4-11 on the season. I knew I'd mess that up. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, we played last night. And I got thinking about that game. We did that game. And afterwards, I thought about it a little bit to last night and today. The fact that you got the game in, was that a positive out of, out of all that? I know the loss stings. I get that. But, you know, when having the practice situation the way it was, missing all the time, and then actually getting some comp- a competitive game, kind of to go through that if you would. Yeah, we, you know, we've had some spells where we've been off and COVID-related and a couple times where we had a couple guys miss because of COVID situations at home or around somebody that had it or that kind of thing. But, you know, in, if you're playing really, really well, you want to play all you can play. But it, when you have situations where you don't play well, you don't shoot it well, or there's something that you, you need to work on, uh, you, you need that time practice-wise. But, you know, unfortunately, uh, you're not going to get it right now because we're playing eight, eight games in 12 days, I believe. So now, okay, coming in here tonight, you have Riverview, uh, a team you lost to earlier in the season up there. Historically, it's been kind of about like this. You know, they win there, you win here. And uh, uh, kind of gets, what do you expect from them tonight? Well, they've got two kids that can put the ball in the hole to shoot it really well. So, you know, we got to defend. We had that scenario last night. I didn't think that they had other guys that could shoot it so well. But Meadowbrook put the ball in the hole really well the first half last night. So, we got to defend, and then the second part of that is, you know, they're a little bigger and stronger than we are, so the backboard's going to be critical. And if you're giving them extra chances because you can't rebound their missed shots, then uh, that, that don't spell for a very good night if that happens. So that's going to be the key for us is how we defend and, and then also uh, being able to handle ourselves on the backboard. And that was going to be my, my next question is keys tonight. What do you need to do to get a victory? Well, you know, we didn't shoot it very well last night, so anytime we play, we have to shoot it well. We're... We don't have no 6'5 kid in the middle that can pick us up or a play that we can go to our 6'5 kid in the middle to get a layup or something that crazy. But, um, you know, we're guard-oriented, and we shoot a lot of three balls, and we got to shoot it well. We shoot it well and can rebound the basketball and then obviously can't let those guys get, you know, let them two guys get 20-plus points each, and we'll be in trouble if they get 70, 80 points. We're, we're going to have our hands full with that situation. All right, after playing last night, everybody come through it okay? Yeah, I think, you know, we may have a little rubbery legs when we start, but we should be able to we should be able to overcome that in the first minute or so. All right, that's head coach Jamie Helder. Good luck here this evening. All right, thanks, Coos. All right, we'll be back with the pregame. This is High School Basketball on WTNS, Coshocton. Coach's Corner has been brought to you by the Inslee Insurance Agency, 433 Walnut Street in Coshocton. Call the Inslee Insurance Agency at 740-622-1111 or go to InsleeAgency.com. Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home has been serving Coshocton area families for over 70 years. I'm Bill Given, and we are honored that so many of you have chosen Given Dawson Paisley. Our membership in Dignity Memorial Network allows us to offer services that no other funeral home can offer. 
Whether you are planning or in your time of need, Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home would be honored to serve your family now and in the future. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Corey's along with Stephanie Snyder and we are at the Wigwam again. It's Coshocton and Riverview and across town rivalry ball game here tonight. Quickly running down games in the area, Highlands at Ridgewood. Tusky Valley at John Glenn, Crooksville at Morgan, Meadowbrook goes to West Muskingum, New Phillies at Carrollton, New Lex is at Morgan, Claymont goes to Tusky Valley, Garraway's at Sandy Valley, Tusky Central Catholic goes to East Canton, Strasburg's at Malvern, and the University of West Virginia as at Dover. Taking a look at how the things stand in the in the MVL. Tri-Valley in the upper division leads the way with a record of 11-0. They're 13-4 overall. Sheridan is 7-5 and 11-6. And, uh, John Glenn 7-4, 11-7. Riverview is, uh, well, Maysville 7-5, 10-8. Riverview 7-6, and 9-9. And, and Philo is 2-9, two 2-15. And two and in the small division, Meadowbrook is leading the way with an 11-1 record, and they're 14-3 overall. New Lex is, and West Muskingum are both 6-5. New Lex 11-7 overall. West Muskingum 10-7. Coshocton comes in at 3-7 and 4-11 and and overall. Morgan 2-10 and 7-10. And, and, and Crooksville 0-12 and 0-16 and and on the season. We'll be back and get to the starting lineups in a moment. This is high school basketball on WTNS Coshocton. Coshocton Dentistry offers professional, state-of-the-art dental care in a small-town practice. Doctors Brian Dunlap and Patrick Lopper and their entire team are dedicated to educating you with the help of digital technology to give personalized, gentle care that you deserve. Their goal is to simply help their patients keep all their teeth for a lifetime in maximum comfort, function, and aesthetics. Coshocton Dentistry is currently accepting new patients. To schedule your appointment with the local professionals at Coshocton Dentistry, give them a call at 740-622-5774 or stop by 448 Main Street in Coshocton. Visit their website, coshoctondentistry.com. Do you need health care without the wait? Muskingum Valley Health Center's Urgent Care is now open to serve all residents in Coshocton and surrounding counties. From feeling under the weather to a sprained ankle, MVHC Urgent Care is here for all of your urgent health care needs. Simply walk in and be seen seven days a week at the new MVHC Urgent Care located at 235 Kenwood Drive in Coshocton, directly across from Jeff Drennan Ford. MVHC Urgent Care. Healthcare without the wait. I'm Stacy Rice from Coshocton Collision Center. Winter driving can be hazardous, so be careful when you drive and the weather turns bad. If you have an accident, come to Coshocton Collision Center. We use the latest environmentally friendly paint products from PPG. We put you the customer first by using these products to preserve our environment. We complete auto body repairs as promised, offer free computerized estimates, and guarantee our work. For all your body repair needs, come to Coshocton Collision Center, 225 Main Street in Town Center, Coshocton. Across from Wilson's Carpet and Furniture or call 623-7347. To stay as warm as possible, you add an extra layer. It's the same when it comes to your windows. MRV Siding Supply has Provia Triple Pane Windows, providing an extra layer of insulation. MRV Siding Supply also has Provia Signet Fiberglass Doors with a foam-filled Solid Core Energy Star rated. MRV Siding Supply, Millersburg, Newark, and Pittsburgh, PA. Call 800-524-7436. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. 
Bears. Here's Stephanie Snyder. Thanks, Dad. We'll start with our visitors this evening. The Riverview Black Bears will start junior number three, Carter Fry. Senior number five, Gage Summers. Junior number 11, Brody Border. Senior number 24, Bryson Fry. And junior number 35, Owen Emig. The home team tonight, the Coshocton Redskins, will start senior number zero, Zach Jennings. Senior number one, Jacob Lonsberry. Freshman number two, Colton Conkle. Senior number 30, Abe Jarvis. And junior number 32, Hudson Wesney. The starting lineup's been brought to you by R.J. Wright & Sons, an industry leader in providing complete residential and com commercial fuel needs. R.J. Wright & Sons have, have locations in Newcomerstown, New Philadelphia, and Caldwell. Coaches in the ballgame tonight for Kashak, and it's Jamie Helder. The Redskins come in with a record of a 4-11 on the year. Ben Belden, the head coach out at Riverview, their record is 9-9 nine and nine on the campaign. About to get things started, taking a look at scoring leaders for both teams. Uh, Riverview with two guys that can get it can, in the basket. Owen Emi comes in averaging a little over 22 points a game. Brody Border at 17 and a half a game. Kishocton led by Zach Jennings at 13 and a half and uh, Jacob Lonsberry at 11 and a half. So now just about ready to get things underway. Both teams have hit the floor. And we should be tipping it off here any second. Ball's in the air, and Riverview will control it. Gage Summers runs it down, and we are underway from the wigwam. With the basketball, Summers works towards the right wing, hands the ball to Border, now out front to Fry. Fry gives it to Carter Fry. Fry tries to dump it down inside, and missing the shot is Border, grabbing the rebound, putting it in. It's Carter Fry. Fry, as of late, has been huge on the boards, gets the big offensive put back, 2-0. Riverview with the first lead of the night. Lonsberry hands it to Jarvis. Jarvis to Conkle. Conkle off the dribble, steps back, now gives it to Wesney. Wesney guarded by Fry. Right wing to Jennings. Zach Jennings will reset the offense for the Redskins. Dribbling out front, guarded by Summers. Now to Wesney. Foul line extended on the right wing, left wing. Hands the ball to Lonsberry. Lonsberry taking his time, dribbles to the right wing. Now penetrates inside, stops, picks it up, and gets it out to Jennings. 6.55 and moving here in the first quarter. Conkle, right wing it goes. Lonsberry steps into a three ball. Shot's no good, but Wesney runs down the offensive board for Kashokton and hands it to Zach Jennings. Jennings will set the offense up to Lonsberry. Lonsberry out front to Wesney. Wesney dumps it down to Conkle, and he had, was wide open, but he couldn't handle the pass. Turnover to Coshocton, or for Coshocton, and it'll be Riverview basketball. 6.36 to play in the opening quarter. Riverview with the early lead at 2 to nothing. Gage Summer slowly across the timeline to Fry, high on the left wing, looking at cutters, now gives it off to Summers. He's going to take a three and hits it. Gage Summers just steps back and knocks down a three, and it's 5 nothing quickly. Jennings runs it into the front court. Now he goes back door cut, but they, Jarvis picks it up to Conkle. Conkle off the dribble, penetrates. Now over to Wesney. Wesney hands to Jennings. Jennings thought about it. Now dribbles over to Jarvis. Jarvis, nice up fake. Little fadeaway jumper. Back, air ball long. Rebound border. Now to Emig. Emig has the ball on the... Left wing skip pass all the way across to Summers. Summers trying to penetrate, and it's going to be an offensive foul as he runs over Jennings. So turnover Riverview there first. 5 nothing our score, 5.47 to play in the opening quarter, Coshocton basketball. I think the one thing the Redskins did not want to do tonight, Steph, is get off to a bad start and now find themselves down 5 nothing early. With a basketball, Jennings. Jennings goes into the corner to Lonsberry, looking for cutters. All the way out front to Conkle, off the dribble. Penetrates all the way inside, gets a man in the air, but doesn't take the shot. Hands it to Jennings. Jennings backs it out, and he'll reset the offense. Zach Jennings, right wing to Lonsberry. Lonsberry penetrates, picks up his dribble. Now has all the way to Conkle on the left wing. Couple dribbles, tries to get inside, skip pass wide open. Jarvis steps back, now he's gonna let a three ball go. Then he hits it. Jar Abe Jarvis with a triple, it's 5-3. Border quickly the other way. 
Loses control, but gets it back to Fry. Fry goes over to Summers. Summers penetrates into the lane. A little scoop shot blocked by Jarvis. And a late whistle, but still a foul is called. So heading to the free throw line will be Gage Summers. Gage Summers at the line shooting a pair. Has three points in the ball game. All hit a triple earlier. His first throw is on the rim short, no good. And he'll try to split the pair. Gage Summers at the line. Free throw, that one rattles home. So Summers now with four points in the ball game. It's 6-3. Riverview with a three-point lead. Jennings will slowly bring it across the timeline. Works towards the left side now. Top of the key to, Jen to Jarvis. Abe Jarvis gives it to Wesney on the left wing. Wesney out front to Lonsbury. Thought about it, but picks it up. Now penetrates all the way to the basket. Low up fake. Gives it to Jarvis. Jarvis spin move and hands it back to Conkle. He's going to let a three ball go from deep, and he hits it. Colton Conkle ties it at six with a triple. Quickly the other way, Zemig. Zemig. Off the dribble, trying to get inside. Dumps it down low to Carter Fry. Throws up a shot. Rattles around and in. Carter Fry with a basket. He has four points. That makes it 8-6. Conkle crossed the timeline. Goes right wing to Jarvis. Or to Jennings. Jennings now to Jarvis. Top of the circle. Dumps it down low to Jennings. Now he goes right back out to Jarvis. Now reset the offense, right wing to Jennings. Zach Jennings off the dribble, penetrates, skip pass out to Lonsbury, wide open triple, in and out, no good. Ball is rebounded by Bryson Fry to Yemig. Yemig has the ball stolen away, gets it back to Conkle. Conkle penetrates in, little scoop shot, got it to go. Colton Conkle with five early points, 8-8, 3.32 to play opening quarter. Emig has it high, now left wing, it goes to Bryson Fry. Fry off the dribble, goes out front to Border. Border to, to, down low, it goes to Fry, and he gets the basket. Lost uh, Jarvis, and Bryson Fry gets a basket. 10-8, Riverview, 3-12 to go, opening quarter. Zach Jennings crossed the timeline. Dribbling out front, left wing to Lonsberry. Lonsberry looking. Gets the high pick, penetrates, dumps it to Jennings. Jennings guarded by Summers. Now he'll reset the offense, 2.50 to go in the opening quarter. Skip pass all the way in the corner, deflected up into the stands. It'll be Kishokton ball. And Alec Lopper's going to get in and see who takes the early lead. And Jarvis will take the early break. Goes all the way into the backcourt, and Zach Jennings has it. 10-8 Riverview, 2.42 to play opening, opening quarter. With a basketball, Lopper. Lopper off the dribble. Skip pass to Conkle. Steps into the shot from the wing. And rolls around, no good. Ball's deflected. And comes up to Bryson Fry, who got the rebound. Almost had it stolen away, and Emig saves it, and they get it back. And quickly the other way, they do turn it over. Ahead of the pack is going to be Lonsberry, and he lays it in. So turnover for Riverview, and Jacob Lonsberry gets the basket, and we're tied again at 10. Quickly the other way, Carter Fry trying to power inside, and we got an off a what, traveling call. Turn the turnover, four now for Riverview. It'll be Kashokton ball tied at 10 with 2.09 to play opening quarter. I didn't see him drag his foot. I thought maybe it might be an offensive foul the way he kind of uh, moved into the defense. 2.05 to play in the first period, tied at 10. Zach Jennings, top of the circle, goes to Lopper. Lopper, foul line extended, looking, now hands it to Conkle. Conkle dribbles to the right side to Lonsbury. Little fadeaway jumper, short, no good. Rebound, Brody Border. Border rebounds it, brings it himself. All the way down, now Border steps into a three ball and hits it. Confidence builder for Brody Border has been struggling as of late, but hits the triple there, and that gives Riverview the three-point lead at 13-10. Conkle takes a look at the sideline to see what they want to run. He just puts it under his arm with 1.25 to go in the uh, opening. Cohen Conkle with the ball, heading to the left wing. Now dumps it down low to Lonsbury, puts it up, missed it, but there's Lopper with the follow-up. Alec Lopper gets the follow-up basket. We're 
It's 13-12 with a basketball Riverview. Hands the basketball to Carter Fry. Fry looking, now goes back outside to Emi. Emi guarded closely, tries to get inside, throws up a shot, no good. Ball on the rim. There's Carter Fry with another rebound. Misses this time. Hudson Wesney clears the boards. Carter Fry with a couple opportunities, had a rebound, but getting that board was Hudson Wesney. Hands it to Colton Conkle with 42 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. 13 to 12. Riverview by one. Conkle just dribbling the ball slowly out front. See if Kishokton plays it down for the last shot. Probably will now that we're under 22 seconds. Getting uh, Coach Elder barks out what he wants to see. Down to 12 seconds. Conkle works to the right wing. Down under 10. Conkle looking out front. It goes to Lonsbury. Penetrates all the way to the rim. Puts the shot up and draws the two-shot foul with 2.8 seconds to go. So he'll shoot a pair. The Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's Player of the Game. Tonight's Player of the Game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. So two shots for Lonsbury. His first one rattles home. Lonsbury with three first quarter points, and we're tied at 13. Jarvis back in. Wesney will take a break. Carter Fry will take a break, and Alec Griffiths in. Also... Slater Samsel's checked in for Kashockton getting in. Zane Bryant, they missed the second one. Quickly the other way, throws one at the buzzer. No good, and we've played one quarter, and it's even at 13. 13-13, we'll be back with the second quarter. This is high school basketball on WTNS, Kashockton. Coshocton Opportunity School has the highest graduation rate out of 86 similar programs in the state of Ohio and is rated as exceeds standards in all areas of graduation. They have a combined administrative experience of 55 years and combined teaching experience of 127 years. They offer a state-required core curriculum, a career-based instruction program, and several electives including art, life skills, parenting, and relationship building. Please call 740-622-3600 if you are interested in applying. The Warehouse Tech and Sign, the home of the legendary onion rings, would like to wish success to all area sports teams this year. The Warehouse is the place to go before and after the game. The kitchen is open until 11 p.m. every Friday and Saturday night. The Lock is the place to go on weekends to watch the Buckeyes or your favorite NFL team with seven TVs and a variety of food specials. Call 740-622-4001 or go to www.warehousesteakandstein.com. Getting ready to start period number two, tied at 13. Gets the ball in, hands it to Jarvis, back to Lonsberry, stops, now gives it to Conkle, fakes. Puts it on the deck and throws it back out to Jennings, and now reset the offense. 13-13, just underway in the second quarter. Jennings works down the right side. Still dribbling, dumps it down low to Conkle, gets a man in the air, puts a shot up, missed it. Rebound comes down to Emig for Riverview. Had the opportunity, just couldn't get it to go. Quickly the other way, Gage Summers has it high on the left side. No to Emig, high on the right. Go to the foul line to Samsel. Slater Samsel to Brody Border. Border circles, picks up his dribble now to Emig. Let's a triple go and he hits it. You got to be out there and challenge him. And, uh, and a big three for Owen Emig, his first basket of the ball game. With the basketball is Redskins to Lonsbury on the left wing. Out to Conkle. Now he's going to let a long three ball go. Back iron, no good. Big rebound by Zane Bryant. He puts it back up and draws the foul. So Zane Bryant grabs the offensive board and he'll go to the line to shoot two. It's supposed to be his first time in the line tonight. He is only the second Redskin to make it to the line. Zane Bryant at the line, shooting a pair. First throw is short and no good. He'll continue to try to split the pair. Zane Bryant will try to split the pair here. Whopper getting ready to get in. 
Free throw up. Back iron no good. Ball batted around, but Slater Samsel grabbed him as they missed both. But quickly the other way as Bryson Fry dumps it to Slater Samsel, puts it up, missed it. Rebound comes down to Zane Bryant and a lot of contact, no call. Quickly the other way is Lonsbury, dumps it over to Jarvis, wide open for a triple. In and out, no good. Ball on the deck, rebounded by Samsel to Border. Brody Border brings it quickly down the right side. Now he goes into the corner to Griffith. Griffith picks up his dribble. Tries to get baseline, little move, hit the side of the backboard, and Conkle rebounds for Kishokton. 6.24 to play, opening, opening half, 16-13, Riverview by the three-point lead. Left wing, it goes to Lonsbury. Lonsbury gets a high pick, heads the center of the floor, now goes it up to Conkle, almost lost it, now picks it up and resets the offense. Gives the ball to Lonsbury out, working slowly towards the left wing. Now back out, and they'll reset the offense off the dribble. Backs it back out, trying to get a mismatch. Lonsbury spins, kicks it out to Conkle, now to Jennings. Jennings penetrates inside, little fade away, puts the shot on the rim, no good. There's Conkle rebounding. We got a whistle and a foul on the play. Foul beyond Samsel, and that'll be Kashokton's ball underneath. Wesney getting back, Lopper getting back, and Lonsbury and Bryant will take a break. So Jarvis will trigger in underneath the hoop. 5.44 to play here in the opening half. Trying to get it in, they do to Lopper. Lopper dribbles and hands it to Jennings. Zach Jennings dribbles the basketball out near the timeline. Now goes, hands it to Conkle. Conkle spins and goes to the right wing. Now out front to Jennings, wide open triple on the way, got it. Zach Jennings squared up and knocked it down, and we're tied again at 16. Nemec has it with 5.20 to play in the opening half. Now he hands the basketball to Carter Fry, trying to dump it inside, but there's Conkle with a steal. Conkle dribble, dribbles out of trouble, crosses the timeline for Kishokton. Has the ball out front, gives the ball to Jennings. He's got, had an opportunity, now he takes it inside. A little floater off the glass, missed it, but there's Wesney, the ball's on the deck, but Lopper, well, we're still battling for it. And we've got a tie up. It'll be a jump ball. Tied at 16, and they're gonna, officials are having a conversation with one of the players, and it'll be Riverview basketball in the alternate possession. Emig will trigger in with 4.50 to play here in the opening half. 16-16 our score, hands it to Border. Border circles, gives it to Bryson Fry. Fry looks, now hands it out front to Carter Fry. Tries to dump it inside to Border, he lays it in. Shockton trying to overplay, but Border seals him nicely, gets a pass and lays it in. 18-16, four and a half to play first half. 4.25 and moving here in the opening half, 18-16 Riverview. Lonsbury out, working towards the right wing to Jennings. Jennings looking inside, all the way out front to Lopper, and he hands it to Lonsbury, and Lonsbury will reset the offense. Off the dribble, bump, no call, little runner in the lane, missed it again, gets his own rebound, puts it up, missed it again. About people floating around, but it goes out of bounds to Kishokton. Lonsbury doing a great job getting in there, just nothing falling for him right now. He's gotten to the rim a number of times. So Zach Jennings will take a break. 18-16, still our score. Riverview in front by two with 4.02 to play. Dumps it in, back to Jarvis. He's going to let a three ball go. That's going to be no good. Ball's batted around a couple times. Have come down to Summers, now ahead to Emig. Emig trying to spin move inside, throws one up, no good, but there's Fry, makes the basket. Ball bounced around three or four times, but Carter Fry with six points gets the hoop. 2016, 340 to play, opening half. Jarvis with a basketball, gives the ball up. Conkle, spin move inside, skip pass to Jarvis, lets another three, that's gonna be way short, ball is Taken by Border, Border coast to coast, lays it in. Brody Border, and that gives them a six-point lead. 
with uh, 3.15 to play, and Kashokton's going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll stay right here. 22-16, Riverview with a six-point lead. This game is brought to you in part by Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home, where they offer their service, services with compassion, care, dignity, and over 70 years of tradition. You can trust Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home now and in the future. Yeah, I think Coach Helder wanted to get a quick timeout, give the kids a break, but also give them a chance to talk about this plan because you know they have several unanswered points. Where he's been able to force turnovers, or they've gotten those all, they've gotten those defensive boards, hustled down the other side, almost two breakaway layups, I think, in the last two buckets. So just kind of a break to get their composure and make a plan going back into the rest of this half. All right, Riverview breaks the huddle. Coach Helder talks to his kid. You know, it really from the Shockton standpoint, they've got the shots they wanted and just nothing going in the basket here, in the, at, least, at least here in the second period. Yeah, Jarvis had had a couple threes and then, you know, falling a little flat now, but um, looks like Redskins are going to take the ball out in front of their bench. All right, Lonsbury's checked back in, will trigger in. Gives it to Colton Conkle. Conkle toward dribble towards the left wing. Now crosses over. Now looks, looks. Now gets it back to Wesney. Wesney faked the shot. Powers in. Has the shot blocked by Emi. There's Jennings scrambling for it. And Carter Fry is the one that comes out of there with it. Gets it ahead to Border. Border out front. It goes. Summers penetrates. Puts up a shot. No good. Let's see what we have. Foul's going to be on number two. That would be Colton Conkle, and that will send Summers to the line to shoot two. And he's been the only Black Bear to the line tonight, so he's one of two right now. Gage Summers, first throw on the way. Back iron, no good. The Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's Player of the Game. Tonight's Player of the Game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of... We're out Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. Second throw rattled home by Summers. He now has five points in a ball game. Seven unanswered by Riverview. They now lead 23-16, 240 to play here in the opening half. Jennings to Lopper. Foul line extended back to Jennings. Tried to penetrate, gets baseline. Now it's cut off. Goes all the way back out front to Lonsbury. Lonsbury off the dribble, tries to penetrate, but backs it out and gives it to Wesney. He's going to take a little shot. That's going to be high and no good. The ball is tipped and Border rebounds. Border quickly the other way to Summers. Summers penetrates, back out to Emig, wide open triple, and he hits it. Oh, and Emig hits a three from outside. Now it's a 10-point lead at 26-16. Conkle has it on the left wing. Now to Jennings. Jennings backs it out. Right wing it goes. There's Lonsbury's shot. That's going to be off no good. Rebound on the deck. And ball's picked up. And they've got plenty of people in transition. Border puts it up. Around and in. Brody Border with nine. It's now a 12-point Riverview lead as they've got their running game going really well right now. Kashokton can't find the basket. And Riverview's answering at the other end. Conkle puts the head down, penetrates, and skips it out. Now to Lopper. Lopper out front to Jennings. Jennings off the dribble, tries to get inside. Now hands it to Lopper. Lopper stops, little jump shot, no good, missed again. And rebound Summers, and here they come with numbers. Summers takes it all the way in, and he's going to be fouled by Alec Lopper. And Gage Summers back to the line to shoot two. Again, the only player for Riverview. So right now he's sitting at two of four from the line. So Gage Summers will shoot a pair. His first throw, or bounce hit the back of the rim and bounced through. He now has six in the ball game. And Zane Bryant and Jarvis get back. But it's been 13 unanswered by Riverview here to take this lead. And he makes them both. Gage Summers with a pair. 30 to 16, 14 point lead. They've outscored Kashokton 17 to three here in the second quarter. And that has been one of the issues for the Redskins offensively for most of the season. 
Conkle has it, now gives it to Jarvis. Jarvis hands it off to Jennings. Jennings out front to Bryant. Bryant dribbles to the right wing to Lonsbury. Lonsbury trying to penetrate, but it's cut off. Now he gives it to Conkle. Conkle gives it to Bryant. Bryant looking into the corner. Lonsbury takes it, penetrates. Now skips it over to Jennings. Jennings off the dribble. Now backs it out. And they'll reset the offense with 30 seconds to go here in the first half. Zach Jennings now they'll play it down probably for the last shot. And this has not been a good quarter for the Redskins. 12 seconds to go. Under seven. Now they're going to have to move They're down to five. Jennings takes it in, dumps it down low. Bryant puts it up, draws the two-shot foul, and he'll shoot two again as time has expired here in the first half. So he'll be at the line, and no one will be lined up. So Bryant has been to the line once tonight, so he's currently 0 of 2. So he shoots a pair here. First throw on the way. Oh, in and out and rattles out. Three quarters of the way down. So Zane Bryant will try to split the pair. 0-3 from the stripe. That one, hey, knocks that one down. So Zane Bryant with his first point of the first half. And we've reached halftime. The score is Riverview 30. Kashokton 17 will be back with a halftime report. This is high school basketball on WTNS Kashokton. Life is full of uncertainties. What happens to your assets after you pass away shouldn't be one of them. At Raymond James Financial Services, we offer a transfer on death agreement that allows your estate to be held in a brokerage account, so it avoids the probate process and goes directly to your heirs. To find out how to make things easier for your loved ones, call financial advisor Shane Pyle at 622-3110, located in Coshocton. Raymond James Financial Services, member FINRA SIFIC. Life well planned. This guy has a mattress on the roof of his car. She's putting on makeup while she's driving. Turn signals, people. It's not you, it's them. But your independent insurance agent has you covered. They'll help you choose the Grange Auto coverage you want for your unique needs. You can't choose who's on the road, but you can choose the right protection for the way they drive. Call Albertson Insurance at 740-622-0572. Policy and coverage not available in all states. Start spring by beating the rush and stopping in to Jeff Drennan Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. This is General Sales Manager Craig Abner. We just received the hardest to find low mile vehicles between seventeen and twenty-three thousand dollars. From SUVs to sedans, we have them all in your price range, and they won't last long. We have the most desirable vehicles all in one location. So stop in for a good buy before interest rates increase. Also, if you have a vehicle with under 100,000 miles and are thinking about selling it, bring it down. Let us buy it. Visit us online for your next vehicle at Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Coshocton.com. Coshocton Regional Medical Center is committed to prioritizing the safety of our patients. That promise of better care is reflected in our achievement of a LeapFrog Hospital Safety Grade A for safety excellence and a top 10% ranking for patient safety in the nation from health grades two years in a row. We strive to be the gold standard of care and have demonstrated that pledge to every patient with our commitment to patient safety. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. The Fisher Funeral Home in Warsaw is proud to sponsor this event as we support the families and individuals that have trusted us with their business through our four generations of service to the community. As the oldest family-owned and operated funeral home in Coshocton County, we understand the importance of supporting our youth and fostering pride in our community. Please call us anytime at 740-824-3515 for any of your pre-need or at-need funeral counseling needs. You can also visit our website at fisherfuneralhome.com. 
The Fisher Funeral Home, serving others as we would like to be served since 1937. Claxon Custom Printing and Promotions is a proud supporter of high school athletics. Contact Casey Claxon or Judd Bone at ClaxonPrinting.com for printed t-shirts, embroidery, and branded promotional products for your booster club or business. We can also help your team set up an online fundraising store to sell your team apparel to fans across the country. Visit ClaxonPrinting.com or call 740-623-2145. In the nation, we know how it feels when a company doesn't treat you like a priority. You feel small. Or worst of all, like you're just a voice in a crowd. At Nationwide, we put members first. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. To join the nation, call Scott Boyer in Coshocton today at 740-622-2131. Subject to underwriting guidelines, review, and approval. Availability and details vary. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates, Columbus, Ohio. You pretty balanced tonight. They had uh, led the, leading the way was Brody Border, who had nine first-half points. He had a triple and three field goals for his nine. Gage Summers had seven points on a, a triple and four free throws. Carter Fry and uh, Owen Emig had six points apiece, and Bryson Fry had a basket for two. That's the Riverview total of 30. Now with the first half team numbers, here's Stephanie Snyder. All right, thanks, Dad. We'll start with the visitors tonight. Riverview has their total score of 30 points. They are perfect 4 of 4 when it comes to three-pointers. They are 7 of 16 with two-point field goals for 44%. From the free throw line, they are 4 of 6, and I believe that's all Gage Summers. Yep, that's 67%. Uh, when it comes to total team rebounds. They have 17 so far. They have five turnovers from the first half. Coshocton with their score of 17 points. They're three of 10 when it comes to three pointers for 30%. Three of 18 with two point field goals for 17%. From the free throw line, they're two of six for 33%. They have eight rebounds and one turnover from the game. Well, you know, there's a couple things. So if, if, if we first talk about the Coshocton camp, you know, I think the B, obviously you take a look at the field goal percentage for Coshocton first half, only 17% on three of 18 and three of um, three of 10 on three pointers. So, you know, they're not shooting the ball well. They've only had eight rebounds. On the con conversely, looking at Riverview, perfect from the three point line at four of four. Two point shooting, uh, also solid at 44%, but the big difference is the rebounding. Riverview has out rebounded Coshocton 17 to 8 in that first half. Yeah, absolutely. When you look at that, that's how, you know, Riverview really got that momentum in the second quarter. You know, Coshocton was outscored, what did you say, 17 to 3 in the second quarter, I believe. And so a lot of that was. Uh, Riverview working hard on the boards, getting those rebounds, taking it down the floor, scoring at, at times a couple layups or setting up their offense, and they were able to get shots from the on the inside. You know, Riverview's obviously doing great shooting it from the outside with their 100% when it comes to three-pointers. And Kishanti just continues to struggle. You, you see those numbers, and you know that offensively, that they are getting shots. You know, they are. They're able to get the ball. They've gone to the hoop a couple times. Lonsberry's been there several times. He's gotten you know, right in where he wants to be, but they're just not falling. You know, they need to try to get in there and get on the boards offensively, defensively, if they're going to get back into this game going into the second half. All right, and that's the halftime report. The score at halftime is Riverview out in front of Coshocton by a score of 30 to 17. Do have one score to report, halftime score. Highland is leading Ridgewood at the half, 23 to 21. We'll be back and get the second half started. This is high school basketball in WTNS, Coshocton. This is Jay Shepler, General Sales Manager at Jeff Drennan Ford. At Jeff Drennan Ford, we have the area's largest selection of pre-owned vehicles, including trucks. Our large inventory means you don't have to go out of town to find the vehicle you want. From expeditions and suburbans to fit the entire family to diesel trucks, Broncos, and fuel-efficient cars. We have the selection to help you find the perfect vehicle. Check out our inventory online at jeffdrennanford.com or shop locally at Jeff Drennan Ford, 801 South 2nd Street in Coshocton. Do you need health care without the wait? Muskingum Valley Health Center's Urgent Care is now open to serve all residents in Coshocton and surrounding counties. From feeling under the weather to a sprained ankle, MVHC Urgent Care is here for all of your urgent health care needs. Simply walk in and be seen seven days a week at the new MVHC Urgent Care located at 235 Kenwood Drive in Coshocton, directly across from Jeff Drennan Ford. MVHC Urgent Care 
healthcare without the wait. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation of Coshocton provides personalized health care that makes a difference. If you've been suffering from neck or back pain, chiropractic care is a non-invasive treatment that can help you feel better. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation is proud to provide patients with advanced physical medicine. This type of rehabilitation is focused on enhancing and restoring the functional abilities of those suffering from physical impairments. To schedule your appointment, call Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation at 291-8100 or stop by 112 Chestnut Street in Coshocton. At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. To stay as warm as possible, you add an extra layer. It's the same when it comes to your windows. MRV Siding Supply has Provia triple pane windows, providing an extra layer of insulation. MRV Siding Supply also has Provia Signet fiberglass doors with a foam-filled solid core Energy Star rated. MRV Siding Supply, Millersburg, Newark, and Pittsburgh, PA. Call 800-524-7436. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. Art Saylor here from Saylor Wealth Strategies. Most people assume they need a large amount of wealth to hire a financial advisor. Not true. I think outside the box to customize a plan for the individual. I also educate my clients along the way about how and why a plan can help and work for them. The key is to have a plan. If you'd like more information or to schedule a free consultation, call Saylor Wealth Strategies at 740-575-4782. We're here to help you achieve your financial goals. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research Incorporated, a broker-dealer member FINRA SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors Incorporated, a registered investment advisor. Sailor Wealth Strategies, LLC, and Cambridge are not affiliated. For Riverview, outscoring Coshocton uh, by 17-4, and the Redskins in a deep hole. Left wing, it goes to Jarvis. Jarvis. Looking, now dumps it down to Wesney, puts it up, missed the shot, and rebound to Carter Fry. Tried to draw the foul, wasn't able to. Go over in the corner to Emig. Emig skips it into Carter Fry, squares up, goes to Border. Border looks, now back out to Summers. They'll reset the offense. Now to Carter Fry. Looking, now out front to Emig. Emig gets the high pick. There's a jumper from deep. Oh, that's way off. Then that time the ball is... On the deck and rebounded by Jarvis. Jarvis behind the back pass and the ball is blocked. Might have been close to a goal 10, but Jennings gets it, missed the shot, rebound, batted around, and comes down to Border. Border quickly the other way, and he's going to be fouled by Lonsberry. So with the basketball will be Riverview on the far sideline, just underway here in the Third quarter, 7, 30 to 17, our score. With the basketball, Amy, Amy trying to get baseline, is cut off, now goes back to Carter Fry, goes left wing to Summers. Summers wanting to know if he has his dribble. <laughs> <laughs> he gives it out into the corner with the ball's border. Borders fades it in, knocks down a, a, a triple, so Brody Border gets the three. Colton Conkle quickly the other way, 16-point Riverview lead at 33-17. Lonsbury has it, now out front to Jennings. Jennings off the dribble, penetrates, skips it over the corner to Conkle. His shot is off no good. Emig rebounds it. Quickly the other way, and he throws it away. Turnover four. Riverview will be their sixth. And Coshocton will bring in Lopper, and Wesney will take a break. Shockton has definitely had a struggle. Four points in the last nine plus minutes here in this ball game. Jennings right wing, looking, dumps it down low, post and throws it away. Turnover, and here comes Emig. Emig gets it ahead to Carter Fry. He loses it. 
Turnover, head to Lonsberry. Lonsberry comes down, stops, puts the shot up, and it's blocked again by Amy. He has his second block of the night. Mad scramble and comes up to, that'll well, be a jump ball, and it'll go over to Riverview. So another missed shot by the Redskins. Where the basketball will be, Riverview, full court pressure by Coshocton. Gives it up to Amy. Amy goes back across. Now he gets it back. Down, he takes it down inside. Pulls up with a jumper. That's no good. Ball is rebounded by Bryson Fry. He puts it in. He's fouled. Uh, Bryson Fry grabs the offensive board and lays it back and gets it. And it's now a, I believe, it, yeah, basket's good. 35, 18-point lead, 35-17. So this will be Bryson Fry's first chance at the line tonight. Eighteen point lead. See what Fry can do at the line. Missed a shot and the ball's deflected out of bounds and it'll be Riverview ball. As Jarvis not able to grab the rebound. And now they're bringing in Zane Bryant. And Kashokton wants a 30 second timeout. So we'll keep it right here. Advanced Spinal Care and Rehabilitation is now accepting new patients. They specialize in sports medicine as well as joint, low back, and neck pain. They believe in an integrated approach through massage, chiropractic, nutrition, and state-of-the-art therapies to achieve one goal for their patients to regain their health as quickly and as responsibly as possible. Okay, Review continues their run. Kashokton having trouble responding tonight. They are getting shots. You know, things are, you know, they're getting good opportunities. It's just that they're not falling, and they've got to crash the board. So defensively, or excuse me, offensively, they can put it back up, put it back in. So, um, yeah, moving forward, they're just kind of stuck on this number right now. You know, Riverview bouncing back, at least at this stage of the game, from that, the big the loss down at Tri-Valley. But, uh Seem no worse for wear as they're playing really a really good team basketball here this evening. Ball's in, triggered into border. He's wide open and in and out this time. But there's Carter Fry rebounding, missing it. Bryson Fry gets it, and Carter Fry gets it back. And he steps through and puts it in. Eight points for Carter Fry, and right now they're just dominating the glass. It was big at halftime, and Riverview continues that. 20-point lead. At 37-17, Jennings left wing to Lopper. Lopper spins into the lane, now gives it up to Jennings. Jennings, foul line jumper on the way and hits it. Zach Jennings breaks the streak and makes it 37-19. Gage Summers with the basketball to Emig. Emig goes to Summers. Summers now skip pass all the way across the border. He steps into a bank shot, missed it. Rebound Colton Conkle, and he brings it himself. Conkle stops, little jumper. That's going to be way short. Nemig's going to rebound ahead to Border. Border takes it in, throws it up, and missed the shot. But there's Bryson Fry just out hustling everybody, gets to it. And we've got a whistle. And was a travel on Fry. Went down and rolled over. So that would be the eighth turnover for Riverview. Only three for Coshocton. But missed shots and missed opportunities have been the story for the Redskins. 4.43 to play in the third quarter. 37-19 Riverview all over Coshocton at this point. Out front to Kobe Moore who just checked in. Moore goes left side to Jennings. Jennings lets a three ball go from deep. That's going to be no good. And Emi grabs the rebound. He's going to be fouled from behind. Uh, well, I guess now he must have stepped on the line. So I'm not sure what the deal was for sure. Coach Helder asking. But be as it may, Riverview has the basketball to Summers. Summers takes it all the way inside, steps through, puts the shot off, missed the shot, rebound by... Kobe Moore and has it stripped away and lays it in as Brody Border with a basket. Took it from Lonsbury. So Border with another hoop. Has 14 in the ballgame to lead the way. 20-point lead at 39-19. Picks up the dribble, goes to Jennings. Jennings, step back three ball. That's going to be no good. Conkle runs down the rebound. He's going to take a three ball from the wing. That bounces around no good. And rebounding the basketball is Jennings. Jennings tries to get inside, puts a shot up, and draws the two-shot foul. 
First good effort by the Redskins on the boards. They got a couple offensive rebounds. And this will be Jennings' first time to the line tonight. So Jennings will shoot a pair. The Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's Player of the Game. Tonight's Player of the Game will receive a gift certificate for famous Warehouse Cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. First throw by Jennings is right through. He now has six points. And Alex Griffith gets in. 39-20, 3.46 to play here in the third quarter. Second free throw on the way. That's good as well. So Jennings hits them both. He now has seven in the ball game. Lopper out and Jarvis back. Full court pressure by the Redskins. 3.46 to play here in the third. Amy go tack across the timeline, and they get in the corner. Griffith's going to take a long three ball. He missed the shot. Ball batted around, taken by Conkle. Conkle with a rebound, heading the other way. Penetrates inside, skip past to Jarvis. Now to Kobe Moore, dumps, dumps it down low, working the perimeter. There's a shot that's going to be good. A three by Jarvis hits it. Abe Jarvis makes it 39-24, and we've got a whistle and a timeout. And it's a full timeout, so we'll break away and be back. This is High School Basketball on WTNS, Coshocton. Start spring by beating the rush and stopping in to Jeff Drennan Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. This is General Sales Manager Craig Abner. We just received the hardest to find low mile vehicles between seventeen and twenty three thousand dollars. From SUVs to sedans, we have them all in your price range, and they won't last long. We have the most desirable vehicles all in one location. So stop in for a good buy before interest rates increase. Also, if you have a vehicle with under 100,000 miles and are thinking about selling it, bring it down. Let us buy it. Visit us online for your next vehicle at Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Coshocton.com. We're back and about ready to resume play here in the third quarter. It's 3.20 to go in the quarter, 39-24. Riverview with a 15-point lead. It'll be Black Bear basketball when we resume play. Summers will trigger in. Looking, gets it into Emig, back to Summers. Summers looking now across to Emig. Amy taking his time now, gets it across. They tried to jump him, but couldn't do it. Out front, Amy dribbling out of trouble. Now goes inside, throws it away. Turnover ahead, it goes to Conkle. Conkle takes it himself and scores. So getting the turnover, and Colton Conkle finishes it off. He has seven points, 39-26. Now 13-point lead. Griffith has it. Now back to Summers, all the way to Amy. Amy looking with it. Picks it up. Now goes out to Summers. Summers. Down in the corner, he can't let him alone, and he hits the triple. Oh, and Ebing with nine points, all on three-pointers. Out front with the balls, Kobe Moore takes it himself all the way to the basket, and he draws the two-shot foul. And his little head fake, and he'll go the line to shoot a couple. So Kobe Moore getting some action here tonight. Yeah, first time to the line this evening. Shooting a pair, his first throw, front iron no good. Forty-two twenty-six, sixteen point lead. Free throw on the way, that one's good. So Kobe Moore in the books with his first point. 42-27, Brody Border beats the pressure. Picks up his dribble, now throws it way down low to Griffith. Skip pass over in the corner, back out front to Emi. Emi steps into a three ball, it's no good, but there's Samson hustling and getting the rebound. Out front to goes to Summers. Summers gets it over to Samson. Samson. Gives it to Border. Border tries to step through. It's cut off. Back out to Samsel. Slater Samsel with a shot. No good. Rebound Conkle. Ahead of the pack it goes to Lonsbury. He lays it. Missed the layup. 
and Summers rebounds it. Had the shot. The ball is all the way. Summers takes it to the hoop, and he's going to be fouled, and he'll go at the line to shoot two. So as of right now, Summers has been to the line several times. He's four of six. So Gage Summers heads the line to shoot a pair. He has seven points in the ball game. Gives it a couple bounces. First throw as rolls around, no good. Carter Fry is going to get in. Slater Sampson will come out. Gage Summers will try to split the pair. Second throw rolls in. So Summers with the point. He now has eight in the ball game. Jennings crossed the timeline, works towards the left side. Now at center of the floor. Goes to Lopper. Foul line extended on the right. Now to Conkle. Conkle thought about it. Fakes, gets man off his feet. Now tries to penetrate to the hoop. Puts the shot up. Missed it. No good. Rebound comes down to Carter Fry ahead of the pack to Summers. Summers stops, puts the shot up, no good, and Kobe Moore rebounds the basketball. Hands the ball to Zen Jennings. Zach Jennings brings it across the timeline with 1.15 to play in the third. Out front to Kobe Moore, thought about it, but goes to Lonsbury on the left wing. There's a whistle, and we've got an illegal pick down low. And Colton Conkle will pick up the foul. And be turnover number four for Kishokton. 109 to play here in the third. Wesney back. Moore will take a break. Full court pressure. 43-27. 16-point lead. Oh, they throw it's throwing a turnover. Summers throws it away. Gives the ball to Conkle. Down low to Lopper, who lays it in. Nice pass from Conkle to Lopper, who has four points. 43-29. Riverview of the ball to Emi. Emi all the way across the border, trying to penetrate. Now backs it out, double teamed, in trouble. Now dribbles it out and stepped on the line. Another turnover for Riverview, their 11th. Yeah, I think if Coshocton continues to put pressure on Riverview, you know, they can maybe push these turnovers a little bit and get some momentum offensively, turning it into off points. 43-29, <laughs> the score, 40 seconds to play here in the third. Zach Jennings slowly brings it across the timeline. Jennings dribbling out the top, gives the ball to Lonsbury. Now to Lopper's wide open three ball, lets it go and hits it. Alec Lopper buries the triple, and all of a sudden we got an 11-point game at 43-32. Ball stolen away, another turnover. And with the basketball is going to be Kashokton with 12 seconds to go. Summers into the corner, and... I don't know what I know, but there's a player down. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor for a while, so we'll break away and be back. This is High School Basketball on WTNS, Coshocton. Shopaholics and people who hate shopping have one thing in common. Neither likes to shop for insurance. At Grange Insurance, we get that. That's why we recommend buying through independent agents. Let Alberts and Lawrence do the shopping for you. They will look at a variety of insurance companies and recommend only the best ones. Companies like Grange, who offer great value and exceptional claim service. Call Alberts and Lawrence today at 740-622-0572. Products not available in all states. Coshocton Regional Medical Center is committed to prioritizing the safety of our patients. That promise of better care is reflected in our achievement of a LeapFrog Hospital Safety Grade A for safety excellence and a top 10% ranking for patient safety in the nation from health grades two years in a row. We strive to be the gold standard of care and have demonstrated that pledge to every patient with our commitment to patient safety. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. All right, we're back. Looked like uh, Gage Summers had a cramp. They worked on getting that calf loosened up a bit. He's got up under his own power. So Coshocton will have the ball on the baseline with 8.5 seconds to play here in the third period. 43-32. 
Riverview with an 11 point lead. Lopper trying to get it in, does to Conkle. Jennings has it with six seconds. Now into the corner, Lopper thought about it and almost lost control. Jennings, a long shot at the buzzer on the rim. No good, we've played three quarters. So after three, it's Riverview out in front of Coshocton by a score of 43 to 32. We'll be back with the fourth period. This is high school basketball in WTNS, Coshocton. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Coshocton Materials offers ready-mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Located on County Road 621 in Coshocton, call today for prices and delivery options at 740-722-9015. That's 740-722-9015. Valley Cheese would like to announce their new winter hours. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 9 to 4, and closed on Sundays. Tours are still available, but only by appointment. So call 740-545-6002. At Pearl Valley Cheese, they've been making quality cheese since 1928, including their award-winning Swiss cheese, along with Colby, Marble, Pepper Jack, Farmers, Jumping Jack, and Lacey Baby Swiss. For the best cheese, visit Pearl Valley Cheese, located on State Route 93 in Pearl. We'll have the basketball coming out. 43-32, Riverview with an 11-point lead. Zach Jennings with the basketball. Brings it across the timeline. Gets the high pick, now works the center of the floor. Out front to Jarvis, he's gonna let a three ball go. That's Wild missed it, and rebound Carter Fry, ahead to Emig. Emig steps into a two ball, missed it. Rebound battled for, and on the floor, and gonna be a rebound for Border, and I believe a timeout by Riverview, because it would have probably been a turnover, if not. Be a 30, so we'll stay right here. When buying or selling real estate, you want an agent you can trust. Find that agent in Carla Norris from HER Realtors Coshocton office. Carla makes home buying a hassle-free process for her clients. Call Carla at 740-502-1881. So, you know, Coshocton seems to have the momentum kind of shifting in their direction. Like I mentioned earlier, the fact that they are putting pressure on Riverview, doing a little full-court press, you know, I think that's forcing them to turn the ball over, which can turn to points for Coshocton. You know, they've shot the ball all I mean, they've had opportunities all night. Now their shots are starting to fall again. All right, 43-32, and it will be Riverview basketball. Coach Belden getting the timeout after the offensive rebound. And when they break the huddle, we're ready to go. Now we're ready to go. Summers, will, who's back in the game, will trigger in. They go to, into the corner to Emig. Emig dribbles it out. Goes left side to border. Now to Carter. Or, uh, <laughs> Fry almost got away with a double dribble. Now Summers penetrates. In trouble now at the border. Border off the dribble. Goes inside, just gakes it himself and lays it in. Just beat him easily out front. Got the basket, 45-32. Brody Border with 16 in the ball game to lead the way. With the basketball is inside to Conkle. Fakes, now he'll dribble out and reset the offense. Guarded by Carter Fry. Now. Steps out a little farther. Now he steps into a three ball. That is in and out no good. Ball is batted around and comes up to Bryson Fry, but it's stolen away by Coshocton. Lonsbury lets a three ball go. Oh, that must have been a two. They're going to say a two ball for Lonsbury. Makes it 45-34, and we got a foul on Coshocton. That'll be on Alec Lopper. 6.37 to go, 45-34, and they checked with the official, and it was a two-pointer, had that foot on the line. So it'll be Riverview basketball right in front of the scorer's table. 6.37 to play, 45-34. Border has the basketball. Gives it up to Summers. Summers. Now dribbles to the left side, looking. Now hands it to Border. Border dribbles back out front to Bryson Fry. Fry looking. Now goes in the corner to Border. Steps back. Let's a three ball go. It's going to be short, no good. And rebound comes down to Lopper. 
Lopper rebounds and hands it to Jennings. Jennings quickly the other way to Conkle. Conkle gets baseline. He keeps dribbling, skips it all the way out to Lopper, who runs it down, gives it back to Zach Jennings. Jennings out near the timeline, will set things up for Kishokton, down 11, under six to play. Goes left wing to Lopper. Lopper looking, looking, now hands it to Jennings. Jennings dribbles up behind, tries to get all the way to the hoop, puts a shot on the rim and in. Nice move by Zach Jennings, got to the basket and scored it. Nine points for Jennings. Full court pressure by Coshocton. Border beats it, gets it to Bryson Fry, goes all the way out to Emi. Now set the offense up, 45-36. Riverview by nine, dumps it down low to Emi, and he couldn't handle it, so another turnover for Riverview, their 13th. So Coshocton will get Lonsbury back and Kobe Moore and Jar and Whopper and Wesney will take a break. 5.25 to go in the ball game, 45-36, nine-point Riverview lead. Coshocton's basketball, Zach Jennings will walk it across the timeline. Left wing it goes to Kobe Moore, dribbles out front to Jarvis. Jarvis backs it out, now tries to beat Amy, skips it out and throws it away. Turnover. And goes to Bryson Fry, dumps it down low to Border, and he can't handle it. Another turnover for Riverview, and here comes Jennings in a hurry, and he lays it in. Nice move by Zach Jennings, coast to coast, gets the basket. Now all of a sudden it's a seven-point game at 45-38. Skip pass across to Summers, now to Emi. Emi tries to penetrate, skips it in the corner to Border, rack out front to Summers. 4.38 to play. Gets it over to Carter Fry, guarded by Kobe Moore, and he backs off and lets him handle the ball and gives it to Summers. Gage Summers out front. Now he'll reset the offense. Summers off the dribble, trying to penetrate to the hoop. Throws up the shot, and he traveled. Turnover number 15 for Riverview, compared to only five for Coshocton. So 45-38, Lopper's going to get back. And Kobe Moore will take a break. Some solid minutes tonight for the sophomore. So Coshocton has the basketball, down seven, 45-38. Zach Jennings slowly will bring it across the timeline for Coshocton. Jennings working out front. Goes to the right, hits the lopper, foul line extended. Now hands it to Conkle. Conkle penetrates. Looking for somebody, gets to Zach Jennings. Jennings off the dribble, bow to set it up out front. Takes it all the way in, and we got a... Foul, I believe. By picking up the personal foul, be Gage Summers on a reach. But it's only the third team foul, so really no problem at all for Riverview with fouls at this stage. Jarvis gets it into Lopper. Under four to play here. Now to Jarvis. Jarvis looking skip pass over to Lonsbury. He steps into a triple. That's no good. Ball's batted around. Carter Fry rebounds it. Gets it away to Border. Border's bumped, and that'll be a foul on Lonsbury. And it'll be out of bounds right in front of us. Lonsbury picks up his second personal foul. 3.41 to go in the ballgame. 45-38, Riverview in front. Kobe Moore's going to get back. And Lopper will take a break. Gage Summers will take it out right in front of us. Looking, still looking, and finally gets it in to Emig. Emig off the dribble, crosses over, gets down the middle of the lane, and takes it himself to the hole, throws up a shot, and got it to go. So Owen Emig gets into double figures now with 11. Out in front, it goes to Jarvis. Jarvis tries to get inside, dumps it down the low to, Jar to Lonsbury, and he gets the basket. Nice move, and... Jacob Lonsbury now with seven, and makes it 47-40. And we have a timeout on the floor by Coshocton. It will be a full timeout, so we'll break away and be back. This is high school basketball on WTNS, Coshocton. Little Valley Cheese would like to announce their new winter hours. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 9 to 4, and closed on Sundays. Tours are still available, but only by appointment. So call 740-545-6002. 
At Pearl Valley Cheese, they've been making quality cheese since 1928, including their award-winning Swiss cheese, along with Colby, Marble, Pepper Jack, Farmers, Jumping Jack, and Lacey Baby Swiss. For the best cheese, visit Pearl Valley Cheese, located on State Route 93 in Pearl. When your vehicle's in an accident and needs towed, you do have a choice. It's your vehicle, your choice. Think Brillhart's Body Shop. They will give you the quality, attention to detail, and satisfaction you deserve when getting your vehicle fixed. Give Brillhart's Body Shop a call at 740-622-0121 or stop by 622 Main Street in Coshocton. You know, before the timeout, Jarvis did a nice job seeing the floor. The Lonsbury is right there under the bucket for the shot. And so that momentum that continues to build, now we have uh, the game within seven points, and Riverview has the ball out of bounds. 317 to play, 47-40. Riverview by seven. They get it into Border. Brody Border back to Gage Summers. Summers gives it to Border. Back to Summers, still not across the timeline. And now they do, and he picks it up and gives it to Emi. High out near the top, double team. Now they get it to Carter Fry. Over to Summers, wide open, takes the triple, and long rebound comes to Lonsbury. Here comes Keshockton with numbers over to Jennings. And there's Bryson Fry with the steal. Big turnover there. And collision over there, and Conkle will pick up the personal foul. And that's going to send Border to the line to shoot the one and one. So Kishoklin opportunity, but a big turnover. And that's, you know, it's critical turnovers. They've only had six, but they're crucial turnovers. And Lopper will check in, and Kobe Moore will come out. Okay, so Border is the third Black Bear to the line tonight. This will be his first trip. So Brody Border with 16 points leads the way, and he'll have the one and one. Border, an excellent free throw shooter. His first throws right through. 17 in the ball game. 2.47 to play, 48-40. Riverview with an eight-point lead. Second throw on the way. That rattles home. So Border now with 18 in the game. 49-40, 2.44 to play. Jennings across the timeline. Gives the ball to Jarvis. Jarvis foul line extended. Now looks and dumps it down low to Jennings. He backs it all the way out. Gives it out to Lopper. Lopper off the dribble. Backs it back. Looking. Gives it to Jennings. Jennings dribbling out front. Down to 220 to go in the basketball game. Nine-point Riverview lead. Jennings gets a, goes to the hoop. Puts a shot up and scores it. Zach Jennings with a basket. Six in the quarter. 13 in the game. With a basketball, Bryson Fry now to Summers. Summers over to Border. Border gets it back to Summers. Summers finally gets it across the timeline, picks it up, almost stolen away, looking down, and ball is stolen away. But they throw it away, back away, and then fouling is going to be Lopper. Frustration for the Coshocton coaching staff. They do what they need to do, and a bad pass turns it over. That's the seventh turnover for Coshocton. And Noah Emi will be at the line to shoot one and one. 49-42, seven-point lead. Emi at the line, first trip. Gives the ball a couple bounces, throws on away, hits it. Noah and Emi in the ball game has 12 points. Amy. Amy, second throw, misses. But there's Carter Fry grabbing the offensive rebound. Just stepped right through the Coshocton staff. Fry has it and has it blocked, and Lonsbury rebounds it, comes out himself. Lonsbury rushes it down out front to Lopper. He steps into a long three ball, no good. Jennings tips it, gets it back out. Jarvis is going to take a three ball, and he hits it. Abe Jarvis. Knocks down a triple, now it's 50-45 with 128 to go here in the basketball game. And we have a timeout on the floor. 
be a full timeout, so we'll break away and be back. This is High School Basketball on WTNS, Kishockton. This is Jay Shepler, General Sales Manager at Jeff Drennan Ford. At Jeff Drennan Ford, we have the area's largest selection of pre-owned vehicles, including trucks. Our large inventory means you don't have to go out of town to find the vehicle you want. From expeditions and suburbans to fit the entire family to diesel trucks, Broncos, and fuel-efficient cars. We have the selection to help you find the perfect vehicle. Check out our inventory online at jeffdrennanford.com or shop locally at Jeff Drennan Ford, 801 South 2nd Street in Coshocton. We're back, and I want to tell you the Warehouse Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's Player of the Game. Tonight's Player of the Game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. 128 to play here, 50 45, closest Coshocton's been since the first quarter. You know, Coshocton didn't have very many turnovers overall. They only had a few in the first half and even in the third quarter. But, you know, these last couple turnovers are so crucial with there's only, you know, minute 28 left. There's, it's a five-point uh, deficit. So they really have to take care of the basketball. And we're ready to go. Gage Summers will trigger in. Gets the ball in to Border. Border picks it up. Back to Summers. Summers off the dribble. And he's going to foul. Summers is going to be Zach Jennings. It'll be a one and one. And that'll send Gage Summers to the free throw line where he's been kind of mixed tonight at the line. Yeah, he's currently five of eight. He's definitely been there, obviously, the most out of all the Black Bears. So we'll see what he can do with this one and one. So that's first foul on Zach Jennings. So one and one for Gage Summers with 120 to play in the ball game. It's his first throw right through. Gage Summers with a point. He now has nine points in the ball game. 51-45. 120 to play. That's miss no good. And the ball's tipped out of bounds by Bryson Fry. So Coshocton will have it with 118 to play. That's been another problem, you know, on the, the boxing out on the foul line tonight for Coshocton is Carter Fry has and Bryson Fry especially have done great jobs. Jennings quickly the other way for Coshocton, penetrates, skip pass out into the corner. Lopper has a shot blocked, but Lonsbury rebounds and lays it in. Jacob Lonsbury gets the offensive put back. And now here comes Emick and It's 51-47, and Emig's fouled, and I believe, well, that's his, the 10th team foul, so and Emig will shoot two. And he's been there once tonight, and he's one of two. It's one minute to play. Emig in the ball game, 12 points. And that's good, 13 points. Fifty-one, fifty-two, forty-five, fifty-two, forty-seven, five-point lead. This will make it a two-possession game, and he rattles it home. Emig now with fourteen. Quickly the other way is Jennings in a big hurry, takes it all his way in. Boy, that's an offensive foul. And we're waiting to see. That'll be a foul and a turnover, number eight. So Riverview will have the basketball, and Griffith will get in. Bryson Fry will check out. Six-point lead for Riverview with 56 seconds to play. Trying to get it in, and we've got... Oh, it was a spot was violation, a spot. and he moved on the baseline, so that'll turn it over. 17 turnovers now for... Riverview, let's go. Coshocton will get it back. So with the basketball, out front to Lonsbury. Lonsbury squares up, gives it over to Jarvis. Jarvis with the ball, hands the basketball to Conkle, trying to penetrate. It's cut off nicely, out front to Jennings. Jennings takes it through, steps through, missed the shot. Samson rebounds and is going to be fouled. 53-47 with 42 seconds, and Slater Samser goes to the line to shoot two shots. And this will be her his first time to the line tonight. 
Slater Sampson at the line with an opportunity to expand the lead. It's already it's a six point Riverview lead with 42 seconds to go. First throw, short, no good. Samsel, second throws on the way. Hit that one. Slater Samsel gets the point. That's his first point. Quickly the other way. Jarvis from way downtown hit it. Abe Jarvis from a deep triple. He now has 12 points in the ball game. Now a four-point game at 54-50. or 54-50. Coshocton gets a full timeout, so we'll break away and be back. This is high school basketball in WTNS. Coshocton. Domino's now has a new deal to help feed your entire family. Take advantage of two large, two-topping pizzas for only $10.99 each, carry-out or delivery. That's two large pizzas with two toppings each delivered to your door for only $10.99 each. Give us a call today in Coshocton at 622-9345 or in Newcomerstown at 498-4131 and get two large, two-topping pizzas for $10.99 each, only at Domino's.
the McDonald's is food you buckle in with your seatbelt deal. And there's no reason not to take that extra precaution because a meal from McDonald's is not just a meal. It's often your most precious cargo. Now get a free sausage McMuffin with egg when you download the McDonald's mobile app. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Free sausage McMuffin with egg valid one time through 4-3-2022 at participating McDonald's. Download and registration required. 56-52, seconds remain in the basketball game. It'll be a Riverview ball out. They have one timeout remaining. They called a timeout as they could not get the ball inbounded. So it'll be Gage Summers taking it out. That will double team both the inbound border and Eby. Their best free throw shooters are up. Trying to get it in. They still can't get it in, and, and they can't get it in in five seconds. So the ball goes over to Kashockton. So Jarvis gets back, no time off the clock. And Kashockton now with an opportunity to cut into this four point lead. Turnover number 18 for the Bears. Get it into Lopper. Lopper out front to Jennings. Jennings into the corner, Lonsbury dumps it down low to Lopper, puts shot up and in. Alec Lopper with a basket, two point game. 56-54, they're just taking their time. Kashockton can't stop the clock. They get a foul with three seconds to go. But Alec Lopper picks up the foul, but it had to do it. But a nice job by Gage Summers. Not in any big hurry to get it in, letting that clock run down. And with Kashockton has no timeouts and only three seconds. And at the free throw line, Alex Griffith, Hasn't scored yet tonight. His first throw was wide right, no good. So he'll have the second of the two-shot foul. 56-54. Three seconds to go. Alex Griffith at the line. He free throws and gets it to go. Griffith gets one. So Kashokton will have to hit a three. Oh, he intercepts it as Summers, and he just dribbles it out, and that's going to be the ball game. And a turnover for Kashokton was their ninth in the game, but that's the final as Riverview hangs on to defeat Kashokton here tonight by a score of 57 to 54. We'll be back and tell you about it. This is high school basketball on WTNS Kashokton. If you own a farm, you know that a one-size-fits-all insurance policy isn't a smart way to do business. I'm John Ionello, your American National Insurance Agent in Kashokton, Holmes, and surrounding counties. American National can provide you with a flexible farm package that allows you to customize a policy to match your individual needs. Call me at 740-295-9460. Because while you know your business, we know how to help insure it. This is Jamie from the Kashocton Coffee Connection. Did you know that we serve breakfast sandwiches all day, every day? Our made-to-order breakfast sandwiches include a fresh egg, melted cheese, and your choice of biscuit, bagel, croissant, or my favorite, onion flatbread. Next, choose from sausage or locally purchased bacon. Enjoy that same bacon for lunch on our BLTs, grilled cheese, and turkey bacon clubs. Pair any of our sandwiches with a hot, made fresh daily bowl of soup. Let us complete your order by making you a specialty coffee or tea. Stop by and see us at the Coshocton Coffee Connection. Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home has been serving Coshocton area families for over 70 years. I am Jessica Paisley and we are honored that so many of you have chosen Given Dawson Paisley. Our membership in the Dignity Memorial Network allows us to offer services that no other funeral home can offer. Whether you are pre-planning or in your time of need, Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home would be honored to serve your family now and in the future. Coshocton Dentistry offers professional, state-of-the-art dental care in a small-town practice. Doctors Brian Dunlap and Patrick Lopper and their entire team are dedicated to educating you with the help of digital technology to give personalized, gentle care that you deserve. Their goal is to simply help their patients keep all their teeth for a lifetime in maximum comfort, function, and aesthetics. Coshocton Dentistry is currently accepting new patients. To schedule your appointment with the local professionals at Coshocton Dentistry, give them a call at 740-622-5774 
or stop by 448 Main Street in Coshocton. Visit their website, coshoctondentistry.com. Do you need health care without the wait? Muskingum Valley Health Center's Urgent Care is now open to serve all residents in Coshocton and surrounding counties. From feeling under the weather to a sprained ankle, MVHC Urgent Care is here for all of your urgent health care needs. Simply walk in and be seen seven days a week at the new MVHC Urgent Care located at 235 Kenwood Drive in Coshocton, directly across from Jeff Drennan Ford. MVHC Urgent Care, health care without the wait. And in a tight one, it turned out to be a tight one. Riverview hangs on to beat Coshocton 57 to 54. It didn't start out like a Riverview Coshocton tied at the end of the first period. It was 13 13, but a monster second quarter by Riverview outscoring Coshocton 17 to 4 in the quarter. Took a 13 point halftime lead at 30 to 17. In the third quarter, Riverview actually expanded that lead to 16 points before Coshocton started to chip away a little bit. But Riverview still led after three, 43-32. But a big fourth quarter by the Redskins, outscoring Riverview in the quarter 22-14. But they come up a little short as the Bears improved to 10-9 and on the season as they defeat Coshocton 57-54. Take a look at individual scoring. First for the winners, they were led by Brody Border. Border finished the night with 18 points in the ball game, He had two triples. He had five two-point field goals and two free throws for his 18 points total. Owen Eby was right behind. He had 16 points in the ball game. He hit three triples. He had a field goal for two points and also a five free throws for his 16. Gage Summers just missed double figures with nine points. He had a triple, made uh, six free throws for his nine. And Carter Fry, a solid game as well, had eight points on four field goals. Take, also rounding out the scoring, Bryson Fry had four points on a pair of field goals. Slater Samson and Alex Griffith each had a free throw. That's the 57-point total for Riverview. For Coshocton, they had three players in double figures, led by Zach Jennings. Jennings had 13 points in the ball game. He hit one triple. He had four two-point field goals and two free throws. Abe Jarvis had 12 points on four three-point field goals. Jake Lon, Jacob Lonsberry finished with 11 points on four field goals and three free throws. Just missing double figures was um, Alec Lopper. Lopper had nine points on one triple and three two-point field goals. Colton Conkle had seven. Uh, Zane Bryant, Kobe Moore each had one apiece. That is the Redskin total of 54. Now with the final team numbers, here's Stephanie Snyder. Thanks, Ab. We'll start with the winners this evening. The Riverview Black Bears had their total score of 57 points. With the three-pointers, they were 6 of 12 for 50%. Two-point field goals, they were 12 of 31 for 39%. From the free throw line, they were 15 of 23, which is 65%. They had a combined 36 team rebounds and had 18 turnovers during the game. Coshocton had their total score of 54 points. They were 7 of 24 with three-pointers, which is 29%. 13 of 39 with two-point field goals for 33%. From the free throw line, they were 7 of 12 for 58%. They had 22 rebounds in the game and nine turnovers. Well, big factor. A couple things really stand out, and it's turnovers and rebounding. You know, Coshocton did a nice job, and really it's the reason they got back in the game. They put on that full-court pressure late in the third quarter and all the fourth quarter and took a 16-point lead and actually got it down to two uh, late in the basketball game with an opportunity and uh, that turned it around. But really, the other side of it, from a Riverview standpoint, the Bears do a great job rebounding the basketball all night long and, you know, um, and, made, and made shots when they needed them. Yeah, they, they were pretty good consistently throughout, like you said, a lot of contributing factors when you're going over the score and, and everything. Uh, because Shockton really did a nice job trying to get back in this game. And like you said, stepping it up with their rebounding, they were able to hit some shots, force some turnovers so they could get things to go in their direction. It just wasn't enough to come across uh, with the victory tonight. So Riverview on the season improves to 11 or 10 and 9 on the campaign. They will play Maysville on Friday night, a game that you can hear here on WTNS. The Redskins 4 and 11, they move on and they'll be on the road down at Philo on Thursday night before playing again Friday night and uh, offhand I can't tell you who that might be. But uh, Riverview gets out of here tonight with a win, 57 
54. Last order of business for us on the evening. It's going to be the Warehouse Stakenstein player of the game. We're going to give that to Brody Border tonight. Border with a nice bounce back game. He finished with 18 points, had a number, had a few rebounds, and uh, did a nice job handling the basketball. So he'll be the recipient of a gift certificate good for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. And it is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. Got a bunch of people to thank tonight on the video side of things. Fred Williams doing the direction of, to my right, and also uh, get, with his Matt Hartley. Did a job on the scoreboard. Lydia Brady and Bryce Lonsinger did the camera work tonight. I want to thank Trevor Griffith back at WTNS Central. My partner, Stephanie Snyder, for filling in for Chris Wallace. And I'm Steve Corys. Once again, the final score here tonight, Riverview, a winner over Coshocton by a score of 57-54. to 54. Have a nice night, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this WTNS Sports Broadcast. Audio CDs of this broadcast are available by calling WTNS Radio at 740-622-1560. WTNS Kishatin. We are the sports voice of East Central Ohio.